Today, I want to go through the basics of multi-tenant architecture. When multi-tenant first appeared in the 12C beta releases, like many other people on the beta program, I thought this is horribly complicated, a huge architectural change and unbelievably confusing. Well, as time went by and I started studying 12C in greater detail, I realized that multi-tenant really isn't that complicated. And what I want to present in this lesson is a simple description of the architecture that should demystify the whole thing. I also want to emphasize that you actually have no choice about multi-tenant. Multi-tenant is coming to all your databases, whether you want to use it or not. So it is important to start understanding it. What I want to cover in later tutorials is usage cases, why one would want to use multi-tenants, the motivation for the full use of multi-tenants, and for the single tenant option as well. Of course, we'll also cover how to create your pluggable databases, your pluggable containers, how to create them from nothing, and how to convert your non-container database environment into a multi-tenant environment. We will also look at the day-to-day -day administration, all the business of space management, tuning the database, tuning your SQL, backup and recovery, and we'll see that that isn't actually as different in a multi-tenant environment from what you're doing already. And then as a separate topic, I want to talk about users and security, because that is a bit different in a multi-tenant environment. But today, just the basics of architecture.